do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will discuss about the jwe advance physics paper 1 2015 so let us start with question number 1 jwe advance physics paper 1 2015 so let us start Hello students let us begin with question number 1 of jwe advance physics paper 1 2015 the first question says that consider a hydrogen atom this is uh, 2015 jwe advance paper 1 now the question is uh, consider a hydrogen atom with its electron in nth orbit or orbital so electron is in uh, its nth orbit and uh, an electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 90 nanometer is used to ionize the atom if the kinetic energy of the ejected electron is 10.4 electron volt then the value of n is that means if this is a nucleus of hydrogen atom and these are the orbits a number of orbits suppose that the electron we know that uh, the electrons are bound to the nucleus and uh, we have the energy total energy of the electron in any nth orbit is given by minus 13.6 over n square where n is the number of orbits n is that means if i put n is 1 that will be it will be a e1 that is minus 13.6 that is in electron volt this energy is in electron volt unit so the electron which is uh, here the first orbit it will have energy equal to minus 13.6 electron volt similarly the electron which is here in the second orbit here n is equal to 1 n equals to 2 here the energy will be minus 13.6 divided by 2 square that is 4 so 3.4 3.4 so minus 3.4 electron volt and so on and at infinity if you put infinity it will be zero so that means the electron is free now the question is that uh, the electron is any orbit we don't know suppose that this is any orbit another orbit say suppose this number is n the electron is here and uh, it is incident with uh, radiation another orbit as given and the radiation of wavelength this is incident so this is a uh, is radiated with uh, wavelength 90 nanometer this is the wavelength and uh, it ionizes the atom that means the electron goes out with certain kinetic energy and that is given as 10.4 electron volt so obviously the this energy is given in the form of kinetic energy so we have to write that the total energy of the system will remain the same to ionize this we require 
how much energy from any nth orbit that energy is obviously negative so for, for example if i talk about the first orbit then uh, if i want to remove the electron from first orbit and ionize the atom i have to supply this amount of uh, energy 13.6 electron volt just to make a tree but then to add to its kinetic energy i have to supply more energy than the bound energy this is the total energy that is bound so and it says that it doesn't only comes out with zero kinetic energy but it comes out with this much of kinetic energy that means this energy has to be provided by this uh, incident energy plus we have to overcome the orbital binding energy that is the uh, the total energy uh, that also has to be supplied by the incident radiation that energy plus the kinetic energy uh, that must be supplied by the incident uh, radiations so i will say the positive value of this because this is in negative you have to supply plus value of that so this is if it is in nth orbit then the total energy i'm supplying here suppose i'm supplying energy equal to e s es stands for energy that is supplied that must be equal to energy of the electron which is in the nth orbit magnitude i'm writing because uh, that has to be positive this is the magnitude of the total energy in nth orbit plus the kinetic energy it provides to the electron if i put those values then i can solve for the value of n this is part is clear because this is the energy is incident that is es the electron is here with already negative energy minus en and uh, that also imparts kinetic energy so this plus value of this has to be supplied plus this has to be supplied this sum of the, these two must be equal to the supplied or incident energy now how to convert this uh, incident energy how to get this incident energy from the wavelength we know that there is uh, the formula we know that e is h times the frequency which is s times c by lambda this is the formula to use and the energy supplied is hc divided by lambda but hc in your question it is given you take this as hc which is 1242 so it is 1242 in a nanometer divided by the wavelength is uh, 90 nanometer so this uh, has to be in electron volt this is uh, 90 nanometer if I put 90 nanometer here and this is in uh, nanometer and this is in uh, Joule then uh, I will be this in electron volt uh, we have a formula like uh, energy is 1 2 4 double 0 divided by wavelength this would be in Armstrong this would be in electron volt so just to simplify that they have taken one two four two i can write one two four two divided by wavelength uh one two four two zero and the wavelength in armstrong if i write wavelength in the uh, nanometer it will be one two four two so one two four two this will be in nanometer this is in nanometer and therefore this will be an electron volt if i solve that 1242 divided by 9 then uh, i will use my calci uh, to solve this okay because uh, otherwise we will waste time i will just use that and what i'm getting is 1242 1242 divided by 90 Nine zero 
and I'm getting 13.8. How much getting? 13.8 electron volt. So energy I'm getting uh, 13.8. That means this is the energy that is uh, supplied. Okay. Now this energy that I'm supplying goes into the electrons negative energy that is 13.8 uh, is used in 13.6 uh, divided by n square this is positive and plus it goes to the uh, kinetic energy which is which is given as 10.4 so from here i write 13.6 n square equals to 13.8 minus 10.4 so which is 10 uh, this is 3.8 this is 3.4 okay this is 3.4 so 13.6 divided by n square is 3.4 from here I write uh, n square as 13.6 divided by 3.4 if I cut this this is coming out to be 4 because 4 4 are 16 and 4 are 12 13 so it is 4 so from here n is 2 so this is the answer to this question it says what is the value of n the answer is the value of n is uh, 2 okay so that is the correct answer otherwise you could have done like that uh, from common sense also you can solve just like this that from here I uh, this is the extra energy that is provided so from uh, from the, if I want this as extra energy then uh, and uh, the total energy I'm getting is 13.8 uh, is obviously if I subtract this uh, I'll get uh, 3.4 and 3.4 is the um, energy of the second orbit so I can uh, by guess also I have to find whatever energy it supplies then uh, minus this that will give me the energy of the orbit and that comes out to be 3.4 obviously minus it will be minus 3.4 and uh, therefore this will be second orbit okay thank you